everybody, it's Vanessa here. Um, so today I'm going to be doing another special diabetic video. In, in this video, I will be showing you guys how to change the cartridge on the T-Slim X2. I am now officially on it. I have gone through my training. I know how to use the pump. I know how to change the cartridges. So I figured first that for this video, I could show you guys how to change the cartridge because it can get a little confusing if you don't know how to do it right. And you may have gone through the, your own training for the pump and still be a little confused. So it's always good to have something to look at for reference and kind of reteach yourself or remind yourself of some of the steps. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so to start with changing the cartridge on the TSM X2, first step, unplug the pump, make sure you're completely disconnected. The best thing to do when you change your cartridge or when you change your cartridge on your TSM X2 is to change your pump site as well. Now when you change your cartridge site, um, you should always make sure that you have uh, clean skin. So I'm just gonna go ahead, do it on my stomach for the video's sake. Um, where you put your pump, it's up to comfort. I like putting it on my stomach, my thighs, um, my butt. I don't like doing my arms just because it's very annoying with the wiring. So when you're gonna do your pump site, just go ahead and clean it up with a little, a, a little alcohol wipe. So the cartridges that I, the pump sites that I have for my TSM X2 are the Autosoft 90T, which are very similar to the pump sites that I had before for my Animus Insulin Pump. So once your skin is nice and dry, you're just gonna go ahead and remove the paper that is covering the sticky part of the pump site. Uh, mine just kind of ripped in half, which of course would happen to me. And don't forget to remove the little blue needle, the little plastic needle cover that is on there as well. Just go ahead and prep it on your skin, place it where you want it, and push the two tops on the pump site, the light, the soft parts, and just release. And at this point in time, I honestly don't even feel the needle anymore because I'm just so used to it. So, yeah. So you're gonna go ahead and remove the new wire. Set that aside for in a little bit. So the way that I like to change the cartridge on the pump is by filling up the syringe first because once you start changing the cartridge, the pump is gonna keep beeping at you, beeping at you, beeping at you for the next step. So it's kind of annoying to have to stop in the middle and just do this. So I just prefer to get this done, set it aside, have it ready for what I'm ready to start. So with the T-Slim X2, it comes the cartridge is in three set, um, three pieces. The black cartridge part that actually goes onto the pump, the needle that goes on the syringe, and of course the syringe itself. So you're gonna go ahead and remove the syringe from the packaging. Take the needle and open that up. Just screw it on nice and tight. Make sure you get it on as tight as possible. When I was doing my training, um, I didn't screw it on tight enough, so I was getting a lot of insulin spills on the side, so that was my fault. I have two vials of insulin just because one is a little low and I don't think it'll be enough to fill the complete 300 units. So that's why I have that there. So you're gonna go ahead and take the syringe and pull the plunger back a couple times just to loosen it up so that you don't get it, so that it doesn't get stuck or you don't get any air bubbles while you are filling it with insulin. So once you've run it back and forth a bit, you're gonna take the syringe and just pull it back. I like to fill it all the way to 300, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill it just before it hits the three mark, which that helps with the air bubbles, of course, when you are changing the, when you are filling it with insulin. So you're gonna take the syringe and you're gonna take the vials of insulin and you're just gonna clean the top with alcohol with an alcohol wipe. Um, I'm just using the same one that I used to clean my stomach. I'm just using the other side. So yeah. So you're gonna take the cap off of the syringe, put that aside, take the vial of insulin, and just put the syringe right in through the top. You go right through the top. You're immediately gonna see a few little air bubbles. You're just gonna push the syringe all the air into the vial of insulin, just all the way. And once you've got it all in, just start pulling the plunger back and start getting the insulin into the plunger. If you 
get air bubbles, just stop. Flick the, what I like to do is I flick the syringe to push all the bubbles to the top and I just pull, push the plunger back in to just reinsert those bubbles into the insulin bottle, into the vial. So right now I have no air bubbles. So I'm just gonna keep pulling back, back, back until I reach 300. But I was right, and this vial did not have 300 units. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my other vial and just reinsert the needle into the new vial and just keep pulling the rest until I get that 300. And I got that. I'm gonna look at it, make sure it doesn't have any air bubbles again. Everything looks good. So I stopped it right there at that three milliliter mark. So right where that black ring is, that's where um, the plunger stops and it's at 300. So now that the syringe is ready with the insulin, I'm just gonna set that aside for a second. I'm gonna take the pump and I'm gonna unlock it. So just one, two, three. So once you have your syringe ready with the insulin, you're gonna go ahead and go into options, scroll down once, Go to load, change cartridge. In order to change the cartridge, and then all insulin deliveries, including basal and any active bolus or temp rate, will be stopped. So just press yes. All deliveries have been stopped. Disconnect the infusion set from your body and press next to continue. We've already done that. So just press next. So it's telling me now, remove the cartridge and install a filled cartridge. Press the unlock button when completed. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is with the case, I don't have to take it off. I'm just going to go ahead and take the little keychain that was provided to me when I received my pump and just pop this into the space and use it to pop out the old cartridge. So that just makes it a lot easier to pop that old cartridge out. So we're gonna put that aside. We're gonna take the new cartridge and we're gonna fill it up. So to fill up the new cartridge, just pop this out of the packaging as you saw. Um, this is also another step that you could actually do before you start doing anything on the pump to keep the pump from beeping at you, but I forgot for a second, so no harm, no foul. So to fill up the new cartridge, you're gonna take the syringe that we filled just a couple minutes ago with the 300 milliliters of insulin. You're gonna remove the cap from the needle. So once you remove the cap from the needle, from the syringe, you are just going to take it and you're gonna stick it right into this little white part here at the top of the cartridge. I like to hold off the little lower lock to the side so that it doesn't get into the web. So take the needle, just stick it right in and push it in until you feel resistance. So I felt resistance pretty quickly. If your needle goes in all the way, do not get scared or anything, that's just that can happen. Sometimes it doesn't. You, it doesn't always, but it's you didn't break the cartridge if you did. So once you do that, you're not going to start pushing the insulin yet. What you're going to do is you're going to push, pull the plunger back until you get two bubbles. Okay, so that's one, two. So now I'm just going to let all those bubbles travel to the top of the syringe. So that's all good. So once you've pulled all the bubbles out of the cartridge, you're just going to pop the syringe right back out a second, push, flick the needle, the syringe until the bubbles come up to the top again, and you're just going to push that air out. Because you want to keep the system airtight and have no bubbles to as little bubbles as possible to make sure that this is an airtight system. So once you get the bubbles out, you're going to take the cartridge. Just stick the syringe back into that little white spot at the top. Again, push it in until you feel resistance. Once you feel that resistance, this time you can just go ahead and push the plunger to fill the cartridge reservoir with insulin. So just push, push, push. And then if at any moment you feel resistance, just stop. Because that's going to mean that the cartridge is full and at that point you're just going to start making a mess with an insulin overflow. Once you've pushed all the insulin into the cartridge, you're going to hold the plunger down and just pull it right back out. If 
you do not hold the plunger down, you're just going to let the insulin all fill back into the syringe. All right. So now that our cartridge is full, we are going to go back to the pump. So now that our cartridge, our new cartridge is full, we're just going to go back to the pump. We are going to insert the new cartridge into the back. So you see how it just fits right in and just pops right in. And we are going to, we've removed the old cartridge, we've installed a filled cartridge, so now we are going to press the little unlock button to continue. So it says press next to continue. It's gonna detect the cartridge. This is the part that's a little bit slow on the pump. So at this point, the pump is now detecting the new cartridge, the new filled cartridge. So we're just gonna let it go ahead and detect the cartridge. It shouldn't take more than a minute or so. And there we go. So now the pump says, make sure the set is disconnected from your body and securely connect the tubing to your cartridge. So at this point, we're gonna take the new wire from when we just changed our pump site. And we are going to take the little lock site and just take the end of the Laura lock that is connected to the cartridge and just go ahead and insert that and screw it as tight, as tight and tight possible. This cannot come loose. You cannot open it. You will introduce air into the system and the pump will not function properly. So we have that connected. We're just gonna press next. So once you press next, you are gonna be taken to the screen. You're gonna say press fill tubing. What you wanna do at this point is you wanna make sure you hold the pump upright so that any more air bubbles that there may be will just get pushed out. So filling the tubing should take about, I believe 12 to 14 units of insulin. So while that goes, just make sure you keep an eye on the end of the tubing that goes into your body because the insulin will start pushing out. So once you see about two drops or so come out, you're just gonna go ahead and press stop on the pump so that it will stop pushing insulin through the tube and stop trying to fill the tube because at that point, the tube will already be filled. Okay, so I got my two drops, so I'm just gonna press stop fill. I'm just gonna let it do its thing while it detects the insulin. So after the pump is done filling the tubing, you've stopped it, it's going to show you the screen. It's going to say, if you see drops at the end of the tubing, press done. If no insulin drops are noticed, press fill and continue filling. I got my two drops, so I'm just going to press done. So once you have pressed done, you are going to be brought back to this menu. The last step now is just to fill the cannula. So the cannula is the part of the pump that is actually on your body. So you're just going to go ahead and re-plug that in. Plug the wire back into yourself. Once you hear the click, just press fill cannula, insert a new set and connect to fill to the filled tubing. Press next to fill the cannula with insulin. Just gonna press next. So when you went in for your pump training, you should have already set up how much insulin you're going to be filling the cannula with because that is specific to the different pump sites that there are. Mine, which is the Autosoft 90, uh, only needs about 0.3 units to fill the cannula. So I'm just gonna press fill cannula, start. Just give it a minute to do its thing. And that's it. It's done. It's telling me to check my sure. So resume insulin now. This will resume your basal and the active personal profile. We're gonna press resume. And that's it. All right, so that is how you change the cartridge on a T-Slim X2 insulin pump. So if you guys like that video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos to come in the future. I have many more plans in store for you guys. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.